jumping out at a guy when he's on a dangerous mission. Yeah, right. Give me a break, Bradley. That's Commander Bradley to you. Supreme Leader of the Galactic Rangers, defending the Earth against sneak attacks by aliens from... Ah! Aliens from... Ah! That's not what you usually say. <laughs> <laughs> Slot you later, Scradley. Yeah, later. I'll get you for that, you! That cling to gun ding, busted galdern horn swoggling galumphin galoot. What's your language, Bradley, or your mom will be washing your mouth out with soap? It wasn't me! Ding, busted galdern horn swoggling. Laundry, huh, Mr. Doddler? Yep, and as usual, this newfangled monster ate one of my socks. Oh no! It's so hungry! Look out, Mr. D! <laughs> That'll teach him to mess with us, huh, Mr. D? Hmm. Huh. Course doing the wash weren't nearly so complicated back when I was a boy. You mean you didn't have dryers back then, Mr. D? No. Nope. You used to wash your clothes down by the riverside, didn't you, Mr. D? That's right. Of course, first we had to soap them up real good. Shame on you, Mr. Dodler! Polluting a valuable natural resource? Where was their social conscience? We didn't have consciences back then, little missy. Weren't invented yet. And didn't have to do a separate load for our delicates, neither. Concerned, complicated gadgets. You had to walk through the snow to school, didn't you, <laughs> Mr. D? They're turned to right past the North Pole. Barefoot. Barefoot? Well, shoes hadn't been invented yet, you see. Wait a minute. Last time it was 25 miles in the blazing sun. Well, sure it was. Once you got across the lagoon, and once you got to school, you had to make your own pencil. This is blatantly reckless deforestation. Wasn't a problem back then. For every tree we chopped down, we planted ten new ones. Conservation, I think we called it. Good for you. You sure had a lot less stuff then, didn't you, Mr. D? Well, we sure never had fancy things like microwaves or video games and all. But you had electricity back then, didn't you, Mr. D? Well, sort of. But it wasn't as simple as sticking a plug in the wall like nowadays. A little hard on the wardrobe, too. But if you didn't have electricity, how'd you get heat and stuff? Fire, mostly. Back then, the only place you could get fire was from a dragon. Cool. Cool ain't the half of it. You don't even know cool till you've climbed out of bed on a frosty morning and put on a pair of metal britches. Cool. Yeah, and we always had to go out and save a damsel in distress before breakfast. Who cares about some damsel in a dress? Huh? Distress for your big fat information, Bradley. Sir Bradley the Brave to you, oh unfair damsel. Well, what about the dragons, Mr. D? Well, who do you think we saved the damsels from? Well, if it isn't Sir Scradley the Scaredy Cat. Ha ha ha! Yeah, ha ha ha. I'll show you how we dealt with dragons back in the good old days. Is this going to be another one of those gratuitous scenes of mindless violence without any sense of consequence or deeper psychological implication? Because if it is... I'm telling Mom, Lance! Yeah, they're 
spend the rest of your life in here, Scradley. Because the minute you step outside, you're sloshed. Yeah. <laughs> sloshed. <laughs> Ooh, that short one could have used a little extra soap. I guess everybody lived in big old castles back then, didn't they, Mr. D? <laughs> old uh, castles were downright newfangled compared to the place I lived in when I was a real little tyke. Of course, it was quite a hike just to get to the backyard. Didn't anyone drive? Cars weren't even invented yet. You had horses, didn't you, Mr. D? Oh, we'd have given our eye teeth for horses. All we had were these big old dinosaurs. <laughs> the friendly ones, of course. Some of them was ferocious man-eaters. Lentosaurus fast! He's gaining on us! At least you kids have legs. In my day, we didn't even have a central nervous system. Why, we weren't much better in primordial soup in them early days. Gee, times were tough back then, huh, Mr. D? Darn tootin'. But did we complain? No siree. Of course, we couldn't even if we'd have wanted to. They didn't have mouths. Not till we'd evolved some, anyways. Ah. Hi, guys! Hi, Dale. Holy mackerel! I know evolution takes time, but sheesh! I've been waiting and waiting and waiting okay, okay. and Get waiting the idea. and... Anyways, isn't this great? I've got so much to say, and now I finally got a mouth to say it with. So this is that primordial soup everybody's always talking about, huh? It's not really soup, you know. There's only one thing to That's do. Just the name. And that is? David. Evolve. I mean, you can't. I'm out of here. It's not like you could go into a restaurant and say, I'll oh, have a bowl of primordial soup, please. And don't skip. Wait for us, Mr. D. Noodles. Hey, where's everybody going? Wait for me, guys! Where do you think you're going, dweeb? I'm evolving! What does it look like? Not so fast. Not until you show us how to do that. Yeah, but we want to revolve. Holy mackerel, you guys! It's easy! Just concentrate! <laughs> People never change. I guess you two were just meant to stay behind in the primordial ooze. Spunky little whippersnapper. She'll be at the top of the evolutionary ladder in no time. Speaking of time, you used to tell time by using a sundial, didn't you, Mr. D? Nah, truth is, back then, time didn't exist. There was a whole lot of nothing going on back then. What about Uranus? What about it? Real mature, Bradley. Oh, uh, we'd have been tickled to have Uranus. No, all we had was a big black hole. <laughs> there they are! Surround them! Of course, when along came the Big Bang, and things was never the same since. Speaking of which, you two might want a duck. Oh! Why didn't you watch where you was going? What? Where? Who? Why? Spin cycle! I guess we're about done here. That's how it goes these days. Always rushing around, finishing things before you hardly got started. Nice ending, though. Of course, back in my day, we didn't have sunsets to ride off into. In fact, we didn't even have endings. Things just went on and on forever. Why, I recall the winter of 19 and 6 lasted on into the summer of 33. And that summer did us till the spring of 42.